In this tutorial, we are going to be learning how to use the network days and the work days functions in Google Spreadsheets. So what I have here is a table where I have the name of my employees and the start and, and date of their upcoming holidays. I also have indicated here what uh, actual bank holidays there are during the time that they will be away. So what we are going to be doing first, we are going to find out how many business days or work days they are going to be out for. And then after that, we are going to find out when is the actual date that they are going to be back at the office. So let's start uh, by counting how many days they are taking out of their holidays. To do that, we are going to use a function called network days. And what it does, Exactly, it calculates the number of work days in between two dates. So we need a start date and an end date. So I'm going to start the function equals network days. Here it is, I'm going to click on it. And the first thing that the function needs is the start date. So the start date that my employee says he's going to be away is the 28th of June. So I'm going to click on B3, comma, what is the end date? I have the end date here, which is the 4th of July. So he said the last day he wants to take is the 4th of July. And the last parameter is optional, is the holidays. So if there are any holidays in between, which I say there are, we are giving the 4th and the 5th of July to our employees. So I just click on A11 and I drag it until A12. And I have here A11 to A12, and that is my function. I press return, and Network Days is telling me my client, my employee is going to be using four days of his holidays. Uh, we can actually double check that. So let me open the date here. He said he's starting on the 28th of June. So he's taking, this is a Thursday, so he's taking Thursday, Friday, this is two days, and then he's coming back on the 4th of July. So that the rest will Saturday, Sunday, and then he's also taking Monday and Tuesday, so that's four days. And he said he's coming back on the 4th, and the 4th is a holiday, so this is not being counted because we indicated in the function that that was a holiday. So that's correct, he's taking four days. I drag the function down. And it's telling me that Anna is taking nine days and Magda is taking five days. Okay, now I know how many days they are taking off holidays and that can be used to detract it from the total number of holidays that they have in the year. But now I also want to know what is exactly the day in which they are back at the office. So what I can use here is the workdays function. So the workdays function, if I have a start date, and they have how many days they will be out, the workday uh, function is going to tell me, me the date they are will going to be back at the office. So let's start equals workday and it's asking me the start date which I have here. I'm just going to click on B3, which is my start date, comma. Now it's asking me for the number of days. So I actually know from before that John is going to be taking four days out, comma, and again here I also have the option of adding holidays. This is not mandatory, but in this case they do uh, have holidays, so I'm going again to just click on 11 and 12. I'm going to press return, and Workday is telling me that the actual date that John is coming back to work is 6th of July. Now remember, John told me that his holiday was ending on the 4th of July. But because the 5th is also a bank holiday, it's also a, a holiday. And I told that to the function, so the function knows that he's actually only coming back on the 6th. And I can drag it down. And you see for Anna, she said that the end holiday the end date for her holidays is the 6th of July, but let's double click here to see the 6th of July, it's a Friday. 
So Workday is telling me that she's going to be back on the 9th of July, which is a Monday. So Workday here is much more accurate than my employees actually telling me what is the last day that they are going to be on holidays, because what I need is to know the day that they are going to be back at the office. If you want to follow along with the tutorial, the spreadsheet that I'm working on is available and linked below on the comment box. All you have to do is open the link, then click on File, make a copy, and save a copy to your drive. Thanks for watching!